Listen to that view. Guess what? Now Tony can come over and um play um Nintendo with me. Hotel's 30 years old. I used to come here a lot when I was younger. I don't remember why. Do you like hotels? It's this one. Like some water? No, baby, I'm okay. I'd like you to have a drink, please. Okay. I remember when everyone used to believe that tap water was healthy. Then they told us the fluoride was dangerous, so we started drinking bottled water. But then they told us the plastic in bottles would give us cancer. Now, we don't know how to drink our water. Do you think I'm crazy? You don't have to answer that. I know I'm a bit off. Sometimes it feels like all I ever do is talk to myself. That was delicious. Do you mind finishing yours? I can take your glass if you're finished. <coughs> I'd have offered you surge if I had any. I really like that drink. But I don't remember what it tasted like. I just remember it was discontinued for having too much sugar. Or was it caffeine? It's funny how untrue all of that was. Yet that didn't seem to matter to anybody. Now, 
we want it back. It's an art form based on a sentimental fascination of mainstream cultural aesthetics of the 80s and 90s, 20th century. But it's more than just artistic expression. It's an aesthetic revolution. I consider it to be the ultimate embodiment of reactive movement against postmodernism. Can't you hear it? It longs for a nostalgic past. It only exists as a ghost of itself. Off the surface, this is a slowed down rendition of Diana Ross's 1984 hit single, It's Your Boo. But it's so much more than that. This coating fueled, chopped and screwed music style is an effluvium that's analogous to cheap perfume. It's coating our national paradigm with an odor of forgotten glamour. Put these on. Some people say vaporwave is just chill wave for Marxists. But I prefer to call it post-elevator music or corporate smooth jazz, Windows 95. Pop! Please stand up. Come closer. Me, please. I want you to get as close as you can without touching. I'm going to ask you to ejaculate. God, do you hear that? Oh, it's an atmospheric soundscape evoking the mundane temples of late capitalism. Oh. oh. It's like we're in some memory of a corporatized office lobby or, or mall. It's a bleak morose impulse, exploring the alienation and, and emptiness of our time. It longs to give meaning to an era without any true identity. Don't touch the sperm. You sick? We're all sick. Take the gloves off carefully. And put them in the waste bin, please. Do you know why I obsess over this music? It harkens me back to that final moment when the promise of technological sublimity and global connectivity made us think that a kind of utopia was still vaguely possible. 
There was a moment that preceded the departure into this postmodernist hyper reality we dwell in today. I miss that. I really do. Vaporwave has all the earmarks of being a postmodern art form. The appropriation of other people's works and making it your own. The pastiche nature of the aesthetics. And, of course, the irony. But I think what it really represents is a longing to return to a familiar and universal understanding of reality. One that seeks to blend both modernism and postmodernism into a new modern outlook. One that recognizes the subjectivity of experience, but realizes that objective truth does exist in some capacity. I think. I think it's trying to tell us. Baby? Hmm? I really gotta go.